Our today's crime story is about an Afghani female serial killer. She killed about 27 people in her home. The motive behind the crime spree was money. The Afghani female serial killer was targeting rich people from the Jalalabad city. A housewife in Afghanistan, where crime used to be almost unheard of, has become one of the world's most prolific women serial killers after, admitting that, she murdered at least 27 men. The serial killer housewife's name is Sheeran Gull. She was born in the Shu'a district of Nangarhar province, in the east of the country. She was married to an old man when she was just 11 years old. Her husband, who was a colonel in the communist government, beat her and mistreated her. One of his cousins, Ramachula, the driver for a Taliban strong man, visited the family often. The more Ramachula visited, the closer the two became. Shortly before Ramachula became her lover, Shirin Gull discovered that he was involved in criminal rings in Kabul and Jalalabad. He had kidnapped and killed drivers, and later sold their vehicles. The female serial killer was operating in the city with a group of six people. The other killer partners were men. Normally Shirin Gull lured her victims with the promise of having sex with them at her home. When the victims visited her home, she immediately introduced the victims with her husband and the other killing partners. She then offered them tea and Afghani kebab laced with drugs. Sometime, the serial killer's partners, Ramachula or Samula, her son, took taxis to their home and then invited in the taxi drivers for cups of tea, a typical display of hospitality in Afghanistan. Shirin Gull, the female serial killer, then offered the men kebabs which were laced with sedatives. Once the victim was rendered helpless, they were strangled. Their bodies were buried in the courtyards of two homes the family kept, one in Kabul and the other in Jalalabad. The dead men's cars were stripped of license plates and sold along the border with Pakistan and in a Taliban-controlled area of Coast Province. It was only after a businessman, Mohammad Anwar, disappeared that the Afghan authorities started investigating the serial killer housewife, Shirin Gull and her family. The businessman had mentioned to a relative, where he was going the night of his disappearance, providing the police with a clue and ultimately unraveling a string of disappearances. At the Kabul home, nine bodies of her victims were unearthed from the dirt courtyard, the home in Jalalabad yielded 18 more victims' bodies. Six people, including the female serial killer, Shirin Gull, her son, Samula, and Ramachula, were charged with 27 counts of murder in the case, convicted and sentenced to death. The killer Shirin Gull and most of her accomplices had confessed to the crimes. The five others were executed. But Shirin Gull's life was spared by a decree from the president of Afghanistan. Her crimes were reduced to 27 counts of kidnapping and one count of adultery. Her death sentence was changed to a 20-year term considered life imprisonment in the Afghan system. She is nowadays in custody of Afghan police. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel for more serial killers documentaries and crime investigation reports. Thank you for watching this video.